Look at this big pot. I wonder what she's making. She's got some vinegar. Oh my. There's some jalapenos. Ooh, yes. And I wore my rubber gloves. Let's see what's in the pot. Oh my. Look at this. This is my big, big pot. And this is jalapenos, some hot Hungarian peppers, some green bell peppers. Uh, the, the red peppers are some of the peppers that had gone red, which only adds more flavor. There's onions. There's garlic, the vinegar, a little water, and some kosher salt. And then I just eyeball it and put in as much as I have of whatever. This is the end of the season crop of peppers. We picked them all yesterday. There was a hard frost the night before. So we picked everything. I cleaned, washed. Oh, by the way, they're seeds. Oh, baby, they're seeds. Don't know if you can get a good look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous color. So I'm gonna, I just like to bring this up. I, I put it on low. Well, I put it on medium so that uh, it wouldn't scorch to the bottom of my pan. And then just leave it to cook for a while, and it'll lose some of its color, but it will be wonderful. It's my, my own little recipe that I like to use. And then I take it, I can it, usually in pint jars. I have half pints, which are really good for just a quick snack, mix it. You can mix a snack jar with, uh, or any of it, with sour cream and dip your tortilla chips in it. That's good. It makes a white sauce, what they call a white sauce in a lot of Mexican restaurants. And it's good on tacos and any of your tortillas, you know, any of your Mexican foods that you like a little kick, a little hot sauce. And then I've also mixed it with a quart or a can of diced tomatoes. Now, of course, I can my own diced tomatoes, so I mix it with my own diced tomatoes. By the way, the dog's getting a drink of water. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> but this stuff comes out. It's so good. I put a jar of it in my chili when I make it. It's so versatile. We like hot stuff. I know a lot of people don't. But this stuff has so much good flavor. Did I mention there's garlic in it? Alright, there's red and green bell peppers. There's Hungarian hot peppers. There were some orange ones and some yellow ones. Some banana peppers, which those were orange and uh, yellow as well. Then there was jalapenos. Some of the peppers did turn red, um, which doesn't hurt anything. And just chopped them all up through the food processor. And onions that I grew in my garden, diced those, chopped those in the food processor as well. And vinegar and water and salt. So that's all you need. Really good. If I was a good, but let's just walk over to the pantry and I'll show you what we do. All right. Sorry about any messes you might see. These are red hot Hungarian peppers. And I don't know if you can tell, but they're a little getting dry. The ones up here, there's one that's littler and it's really dry. And they're getting crumbly. And what you want to do is you dry them out, and then I take my little, like a coffee grinder, but I use it for spices, and you grind these up. 
I smoked these also before I hung them up here. But you grind them up and you've got paprika or smoked paprika. So let's go over here to the pantry. And you can see all my yummy canned goods. But down here is some pepper relish I made. I made August 21st from peppers. And isn't that gorgeous? And that is what I'm making today. Only the stuff I'm making today will have a little bit of red in it. That one had a little color spot. I thought that looked like it would show up more, but it's not. And then, of course, there's regular salsa, tomato salsa, which has a lot of peppers. We eat a lot of that, too. So, and here's my diced tomatoes. Marinara sauce that I make. A lot of people say, oh, it's a waste of time. No, it's not. You can take a spaghetti squash, cook it up, spaghetti it, put uh, some turkey meatballs in there, your spaghetti squash, put a jar of this marinara sauce on it, put some parmesan, fresh parmesan grated cheese on top, put it in the oven, 350 for 20 minutes, half an hour. You got a really good meal and healthy, healthy, healthy. So, oh, this is, this is a fun one. Turn this. These are sauerkraut stuffed Hungarian hot peppers. This is a favorite of my dad. He finally gave me the recipe this year for the brine. And so I shared a jar of these already with some friends. And they scarfed them up and she wants to know how to make them. But we didn't quite get there this year. Maybe next year. Okay. If you like this, like and subscribe. If you like my videos, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.